Okay guys, so yeah, today, I don't know what was up with today being the 10th of, you know, December. I guess Christmas came early, depending on how you view it. A lot of announcements came out. One I talked about earlier today, that was unexpected, uh, that Netflix obviously wants to keep under wraps until, I guess, later on, or until there's more information. And then you got the Game Awards and the trailers and, re and reveals there. But then the big one on top of that, the other big one besides that is the Disney is today was the Disney Investors Day. And of course, you know, an Investors Day meeting kind of tells you all the like financial stuff, you know, that's going on. But also is a day just like the Game Awards and, you know, other events is a day of trailers, announcements, revelations. So I'm going to get into some right here. Um, and one of them, we're going to start off with Hulu because Hulu's part of this and, you know, the rumor that Disney Plus wants, Disney wants to merge Disney Plus and Hulu together. So Hulu, uh, started off, I think, well, ESPN actually started first, but we're going to get into what a lot of people are more interested in than ESPN. I mean, one of the noteworthy things about ESPN is they did get, I think, uh, the distributing license or something like that for the, the SEC starting in 2024. Uh, but anyway, so that means CBS is, is I think, going to still be sharing it, but still, it's like now ESPN, ESPN Plus is going to be the home for it. Uh, but anyway, this is the Hulu portion, and this is what they announced for Hulu. It's not that much, but they announced um, uh, six series. Two, three of them are Hulu originals. We have Hulu original Little Fries, uh, Little Fires Everywhere. We have only Murders in the Building, The Dropout, Dope Stick, Hulu Original Nine Perfect Strangers, and Hulu Original The Handmaid's uh, Tale. The Handmaid's Tale. So those sound interesting by title, but those were the ones announced for um, Hulu. Now FX came on board because, of course, they're part of Disney, Fox, and everything. And they made the announcement that these are the store. Uh, these are the shows coming to their network. They have Mrs. America, Devs, A Teacher, The Old Man, FX American Horror Story, American Horror Stories, all right, not story, but Horror Stories, uh, Platform, Reservation Dogs, uh, Why the Last Man, Alien, I guess it's going to be a series based on aliens, and Shogun. So, and I think that's a, probably a Marvel thing. I don't really know. But that's FX. That's the announcements they made. Um, let's see here. Okay, here's the big one right here. Uh, Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars, basically, um, you know, Lucasfilm's part of Disney, of course, made an announcement as well. And they had a proliferal. This shocked, I think, a lot of people. Uh, most of Star Wars, there are some that are not, but most of Star Wars. We have, you know, of course, the continuation of The Mandalorian. We have R Rangers of the New Republic. We have Oscar, Oscar, o Oscar, oh, I can't pronounce her name. You guys can probably correct me there. Oscora, the uh, Padme of, um, or the Apprentice of, um, uh, uh, of, uh, um, I can't, Come on, I can think of the name, I can think of the name. Anakin, Anakin Skywalker. We have Andor, Obi-Wan Kenobi, which Anakin's coming back as Darth Vader. Uh, that's the one big news came out. We have The Bad Batch, which is a Star Wars film, I think. We have Star Wars Visions, Lando from Star Wars, The Acolyte from Star Wars, A Droid Story from Star Wars, which I'm assuming is going to a focus on CP3O and R2D2. Also from Star Wars, we have Rogue Squ Squadron, and we have Willow. Now, what's interesting about Rogue Squadron? We're going to get back to that. All of these, if you'll be seeing this, hopefully it'll be timed in with what I'm saying. If not, that's fine. Uh, you'll be noticing that a lot of these have the Disney Plus uh, um, logo under it, Disney Plus original logo under it, but Rogue Squadron. That's not a Disney Plus um, release. That's going to be a theatrical release. So that's going to be another solo uh, Star Wars film that's going to be on the big screen. Okay, so National Geographic. Um, if you're interested in National Geographic, you got, um, let's see. 
You got uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, uh, James, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Secret of the Whales, A Real Bug's Life, America the Beautiful, Limitless, Welcome to Earth, and um, Constitu Constitura, I can't pronounce the name, uh, but you got those coming. That, if you're interested in that, that's what's coming there. Then Walt Disney Television, Television Studios. This is some of the ones that we're getting into that people are going to be invested in when they watch Disney+. Plus. So we have Disney+, Plus. we have The Mighty Ducks Game Changers. Now, before you say anything, Mighty Ducks Game Changers is going to be based on the 90s films of Mighty Ducks. Uh, we have Turner and Hooch, Disney Plus series based on that. Uh, with that original movie with Tom Hanks is getting a series. We have Disney Big Shot. And we have the Disney Mysterious Benedict Society. So, those are the four things coming from Disney Television Studios to Disney Plus, and I'm assuming maybe Disney Channel and uh, uh, Disney XD. Okay, now we're going to get into movies. Now we're going to get into movies. And the movies for Disney Plus and theatrically um, are right here. Well, these are the Disney Plus ones, but Disney Plus wise, here's what we're getting. We are getting Hocus Pocus 2, predicted. Three Men and a Baby, a remake of that, okay. Safety, Flora and Ulysses. We're getting Cheaper by the Dozen, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, remake, I guess. Ice Age, Adventures of Buck Wild. Night at the Museum, we're getting, a, I guess, a continuation or a new version of that, okay. And then, here are the other ones. Obviously, it's a big list. I had to take two pages. Um, theatrically, we're going to get into that in a moment. Uh, theatrically, we'll get in, like I said, we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, Disney Plus-wise, we've got Pinocchio, Peter Pan and Wendy, Disenchanted, Secret to Enchanted, Sister Act 3, and one that we're all hoping for, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, and apparently we got the voices revealed for who Chip and Dale, who's going to be voicing Chip and Dale. And unless those are going to be the human ver human counterparts of Chip and Dale, basically the ones that Chip and Dale, you know, try to get the attention. I don't know. But it's, but basically, uh, one of them is Andy Samberg, who's voicing Dale, and his name was under Dale's name, so, you know, there you go. Then, theatrically, we're going to get Jungle Cruise with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The Lion King, basically the sequel to Lion King. Little Mermaid. And surprisingly, one people thought was going to be on Disney+, Plus, but I think they're going to put into theaters, Cruella, which is, you know, based in 101 Dalmatians. All right, so now we're going to get into animation. Animation Studios. And uh, we're going to see what's going on here. Ooh, this is interesting. Really interesting. I'm surprised they're doing this. And I'm sure John Campbell will talk about this. Uh, Disney Animation Studios. We have Raya, The Last Dragon, which is supposed to be a theatrical film. Still might be that. But right now it's advertised as a Disney Plus premium access release. So they're going to charge you an extra uh, 30 or 20 bucks for that. Uh, we have a series based on Baymax from Big Hero 6. We have a series based on Tinyana from Princess and the Frog. A series based on Moana, you know, based on, you know, coming to there. We have um, a short form series based on Zootopia called Zootopia Plus. We have uh, Disney's um, in Kuwajli um, Ajua. I can't pronounce that, but that's a Disney original. And then the 60th animated feature, Enchanto, is coming to theaters as well. And what's interesting about Raya is it's coming to Disney Plus as a premium access. I'm sure that's going to get a lot of uh, backlash. But then again, you know, they're doing it. Uh, they do, they're doing this with uh, Soul, which is not a premium access. So I guess they're making up for that. Now here we're going to be talking about Pixar. Pixar we have... Of course, Soul coming out in a few weeks on Disney+. Plus. 
We have the Up spin-off series, Daw, uh, Doug Days. Doug Days, okay. We have a series based on cars. Um, a Pixar Disney series or movie, I'm assuming series, called Win or Lose. Uh, we have a theatrical films of Luca from Disney and Pixar. Turning Red, which looks interesting. And an origin story of how Buzz Lightyear came to be. So... Really invested, really interested in that. And oh, by the way, the Buzz Lightyear in Lightyear, as it's called, is going to be voiced uh, by Chris Evans. And what they came up with with that is, you know, how in the original Buzz Lightyear is based on a movie and everything, his figure. They pretty much said, hey, let's make that movie. And here we are. And now we're going to get into Marvel. And this is where it's going to get really, really interesting. Marvel's taking up. It looks like uh, two pa uh, two pages, just like with the Disney movies. So here, di um, Marvel-wise, we have this. On Disney uh, Plus, starting at the beginning of next year, or around the beginning of next year, we have WandaVision. We have uh, Loki, which is also showing up next year. What If, which is an animated take on alternate realities. And it seems that The Watcher, a main... Uh, mo um, uh, Marvel Comics character of, you know, looking into alternate realities. We got introduced to him in several series, animated a adaptations, that is. So he's going to be, like, the main, like, narrator of all this. So we got What If coming. Uh, next year we have Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I think around the same time Loki is. We have Ms. Marvel, which is a Disney Plus original. We have Hawkeye and She-Hulk. And then, theatrically, we have Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, directed by Sam Raimi. And it's supposed to be like, like kind of like there are going to be moments going to make you go jump your skin kind of thing, I guess. Uh, Black Widow, they're still committed to Black Widow in the, on, in the theaters. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Captain Marvel 2 and Eternals are all theatrical bound as of this moment. And according to some rumors, Eternals is how we're going to get introduced to the X-Men. Moving on, we have a Disney Plus announcements for Moon Knight. Secret Invasion, which is going to be interesting. I wonder if it's going to deal with Secret Wars. Ironheart, which is based uh, on the Ironheart comic. And it focuses on a young woman that develops an armor similar to Iron Man's, if not better. Armor Wars, which is going to be a War Machine take. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, which is going to be live action. Same actors and everything. And it's going to be based... And from what uh, Kevin Feige said, they're going to film it simultaneously at the same time they're doing Volume 3. We got I Am Groot. So I don't know if that's animated or live action. That's going to be interesting. We have... Um, let's see... That's about it. And the uh, theatrically, we have Thor, Love and Thunder, Blade, Ant-Man and Wasp, Quantum Mania, Black Panther 2, which word came out by Kevin Feige that to honor Chad Boswick, uh, Boswick they're not going to recast the Black Panther. Instead, this is going to explore the other characters of Wakanda. So that's pretty cool. And of course, the big one at the end, Fantastic Four. It's going to be directed by the same guy directing the current Spider-Man films. I think uh, Jason Scott, his name is. I, I think that's his name. Well, John Scott. James Scott, I think. So, yeah. Those are the announcements from the Disney uh, investors meeting. I don't think I've missed anything else besides, you know, the ESPN ones. And also, if you have Xfinity, apparently Disney Plus is finally going to be coming to uh, Di um, X, you know, X1, Xfinity 1. So that's pretty cool. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can confirm that, you know, via Google. Let me see if I can confirm that. Uh, yeah, Disney sets Comcast Xfinity distribution deal for Disney Plus and ESPN Plus new bundle and all that. Um, Comcast to launch Disney Plus and ESPN Plus on Xfinity platform. So yes, finally. If you don't have a Ruko or anything like that, it's coming to Disney+.
So that's pretty cool. I don't know when they're going to be launching that. Uh, in the first quarter. Okay, so in the first quarter of the new year. So that's pretty cool. That's really, really cool, guys. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what more can we say? That's, uh, let me fix this a little bit. There we go. Just got to adjust that. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really good, guys. Uh, I said, you know, Disney's doing this. Uh, this is a big announcement, you know, as far as what content we're going to be getting from them. I cannot wait to see a lot of these come to life. Now, again, there are some that are questionable about the release, like Raya and um, The Last Dragon. You know, it's like, you know, why are you going to go the route of Mulan when you're pretty much putting another Pixar film, you know, for free? And my thought process is the strategy they're coming with is... Raya costs more than Soul, so Soul could be sacrificed. But to make up for the cost that they had to put into Raya, they're going to say, hey, you need to give us extra amount of dollars for it. But who knows? They might change their mind. And, and hey, maybe it'll be semi, 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 <laughs> easy for me to say. Um, maybe it'll, maybe they're going to do what HBO Max is doing with their films, and that make it a uh, simultaneously um, release or simultaneously release it in theaters as well as on premium access for Disney Plus just in case you know people don't want to go to the theaters just yet so that's probably what they're going to do I think that's probably what they're going to do if, more than likely is that it's going to be in theaters but if you don't want to go to theaters just yet because you're too squeamish or anything then or too hesitant because of everything going on then you know here you go you can watch it at home but you just got to pay an extra fee so I'm thinking that's what they may do. But overall, this is a great announcement, and I cannot wait to see these on the big screen when they come out. Out as well as see them on uh, um, Disney+. Plus. I did see the trailer for What If, and it looks... It's basically what we have seen before, but a lot more has been added, and it looks great. It looks fantastic. I cannot wait to see this. Loki looks interesting. Definitely going to be checking that out. And the Star Wars stuff, my goodness, it looks great. WandaVision looks good. Um, basically, Kevin Feige confirmed what all of our suspicions were. That everything that's coming on to Disney+, Plus, you know, MCU related. You know, from WandaVision, Falcon and Arrow. You know, I mean, Fa Falcon and Winter Soldier. Hawkeye, Loki and all that. You know, series wise. Is all interconnecting with the theatrical MCU films. So, everything's going to connect together. So, WandaVision's connecting to... Um, it actually, he basically said it best. He said, WandaVision's connecting to two movies. It's connecting not only to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, but it's connecting to next year's Spider-Man film. So, you know, that's going to be really interesting. And that would explain, basically, why uh, it's been confirmed by Sony and Disney that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are back as Spider-Man in, in the third film because of that. So it's going to be really interesting, and it looks like Phase Four is going to deal with alternate realities, quantum alternate real, you know, the quantum you know verse and all that, the quantum reality and multiverse and multiverse of realities, and the main character it looks like that's going to center around is Wanda, is you know Scarlet Witch Wanda. So she's going to obviously be the main center point of this whole uh, Phase Four in the end. Um, when it all comes in and when we get like that big Avengers film, you know, where all the heroes come together, she's going to be the main focus. She's the main focus here. Obviously, they're taking, as some people would suspect, you know, a lot of inspiration from the House of M story. So it's going to be really interesting how they get there, you know, what they adapt fully, what they loosely adapt, what they make original to, you know, work in there, how it all connects. It's going to be really interesting, and I cannot wait to see what the finished product is going to be. So, that's all I can really say, though, guys, on this. Um, hopefully, you all watched. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. Comment down below. Uh, let me know what you all think, and I will talk to you all later. Peace out, and I'm done.